Someone made a comment on Twitter about having to create different states for their navigation. So what she mean is this. Once you click on any of this, it takes you to that page and also showcases a different state for whatever you've clicked on. So we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to have to do this for just three pages. So I'll duplicate this page and I'm going to delete all of this to make it look like it's a new page. Uh, we we'll duplicate this again. And for this one, we'll probably just use a shape, uh, maybe this shape, copy this and paste it in here. And we can extend that this way. This is going to be the three pages. You can go ahead to rename the title or you can design your actual design. Okay, so now to solve this, would need to have a hover state for these uh, different navigations. Now, once you try to hover on it, you see that uh, it's clickable. All right, it changes state, so it goes to a hover state. And when you click on it, it gives us an active state. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these. We'll grab features, and we're going to duplicate it again and again now this is going to be three different variations or three different instances the first one being the default state uh, which is the inactive state we have the hover state and then the clicked state this is a state when the user has clicked so it's like an indicator of the page where you are currently in so what we're going to do is i'm going to put this in um, a frame I'm just going to right click and just do frame selection. So I have this frame and it's going to be the same for the rest of it. Just that I'm going to delete this. So I have all of it. I'll call this D, which is going to be for default state. And then I'll duplicate this one more time. All right. And we have this. But I think there's something I love to do. I'd like to show you guys how to make this uh, feel uh make it responsive because there are times that you'll be on one page you want to ensure that it's responsive the indicator because i'm going to use an indicator like a rectangle uh a rectangular shape so that means if i have a longer word if i open up my uh side panels if i have like a longer word you see it's not responsive so I want this to be responsive based on the shape or whatever is there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to select both of them and we'll put them in auto layout. So go to the auto layout and click auto layout. Now, both of them are in auto layout. And what you're going to do with this shape, you're going to select the shape that you've used. You can either make the height two or you make it one. But two is, is what we're going to use for this use case. Now, select the frame and we'll center, centralize this, all right? Ensure your text is also centered. And then let's call this default. Now, next, we're going to select the shape and you see where we have fixed. What it does is if we duplicate this to create other variants, if we try to increase this, the auto layout frame increases, but the shape itself does not increase. So what we want to do is ensure that it's responsive with the text. So select the shape and then go to this fixed. You're going to see fill container. That means you want it to run end to end. And if you look at the, uh, uh, the shape at the ends, you're going to see a red indicator on both ends telling you if you click on this, this shape is going to extend to touch each margins on the left and the right hand side click on fill container and that is it if i reduce this and i do fill container you would see it better you can see the arrow or the indicator the red arrow better and then if i click on fill container it fills up the space now what happens is whatever i type in here if i type in get started you see the shape is now responsive it now follows this so that's the first thing you need to tackle once you've tackled that we can now duplicate this 
and we'll have three variants for them so this is going to be the clicked this is going to be the hover and this is the default so the default is not going to have this shape all right uh what we're going to do for all of them is i would select all you can either do fixed height meaning the box would always be fixed if i give it a stroke so you can see what's going on this box would be fixed even though i delete the indicator you can see the box is still fixed but if i deleted the indicator without making them um uh, fixed let's go back and change this to hog content if i delete this you're going to see something i'll leave my in the, my arrow or cursor where it is if i delete this you see it reduces the line height so this is something you want to pay attention to and to have something really good leave it as hog content don't leave it as fixed you can leave it at fixed but whichever one would still work so let's let's do hog content i'm going to select everything and remove the stroke now we have it at hog all right and then i will delete it from this i would also delete it from this and then for this one i would probably just let's give this white a white background so we can see how the colors would appear on the different backgrounds for this one i'm going to change the color I'm going to make it a bit more uh, a bit more darker yes a bit more darker and then this one as well would be darker it would be the same uh, color with the hover state but the only touch or ingredient here is the indicator all right so whichever page you're on you know the page now i'm going to remove this white break it now we have all three of them and what we're going to do now is simple we're going to go up here where it says components click on it and choose create component set and that's it you have created your first component set now we're going to change this to navigation just title it navigation and what we're going to do is for each of them we'll give them a name this has hover this has clicked you can see it over here and it's perfect now what happens is if i select one of these hold alt and drag it out or if i open up you can also select it from going to assets and you'll find it but i have a lot of uh, components so it might be hard for me to find it uh, so you would find it in assets you can now easily drag it like if i open up this one and i drag this card out it's going to be really big you can see i have this I can reuse it within my design so let's get back to on track now i duplicated one so i have that one here now what i can do is within my design i can go to the hover state i can also go to the click state effortlessly now let's grab this we'll take it back to the default state we're going to cut it uh, ctrl x and then what i'm going to do is come over here i will duplicate this outside you can also change the names no need to be scared what i'll do here i'll delete this one and then i'll select all of them i'll just press enter because enter is going to select all of them all right uh enter is going to select all four of this there are four elements here or four names ai innovations features safety and by google so i'll just press enter and it will select all of them individually if i hold shift command and later arrow arrow for rat i will be able to exchange all of that all right you can also select them one at a time but to make it faster all you need to do is just ensure you're selecting its frame let me go to my layer so that you see what i'm selecting so this is the text frame and all four of these are the individual elements within the text frame so you won't select the frame themselves but the container itself and that way you're able to just press enter and enter will select all those elements within the frame and then you can either right click and do paste to replace or you can use the shortcut shift plus command or control and later arrow for that voila and you have that now that we have this we can now go ahead to uh, assign what this state would be so for the first state 
would say this is going to be the click state. Let's say we're in home. Ensure that you select all of these and align top. That way, everything is well aligned. All right, because we did not make it fixed height. Now you can see with the arrow or ruler, it is well aligned. Now the next step you need to do is rename. So for this, I'm going to call it home. And we're going to say this one is features. This one is going to be safety. And then the last one is going to be by Google. All right, now that we have this, we can eliminate this. We don't need it anymore. This is the first screen. This is the home screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this navigation. All right, I'll copy it and then I'm going to paste it here and here. So remember, paste to replace. I'll do that. Now it has uh, replaced what was there. Now in this page, we want features to be the active state. So we go back to the property channel here. And then we're going to choose clicked for features. And then for this one, we're going to choose default. Now it's home features. And then the last one being this, we're going to put it on by Google. So I'm going to go to the clicked state, all right? Because it's going to be the page that we will be on. And then this is going to go back to default stage or state. All right. Now that we have all of this done, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to attribute the uh hover state we need to do a prototype so we're going to select features which is the default state would we'll switch over to our prototype i'm using the shortcut shift plus e i use a lot of shortcuts and then what you're going to do is drag this node to the hover state which is the middle one and then if we bring this up you want it to be on click on not on click you want it to be y hovering so it's going to be instant. There's no need to put it on smart animate or all of that. So it's going to be instant. Why the user, why the user hovers on it, it shows up. All right. You can make it smart animate based on your own taste, but you want things to be really fast for the user. All right. Now that we have this on Y hovering, that's all you need. All right. Now it's time to do the other interaction. Now I know some people may want to do uh, like uh, a. Uh, an interaction with the click state but there's no need for that because you're going to have different designs all right or pages and you would have to point all of these to those pages now what we're going to do now is we want to switch we want the user once the user clicks on features it takes the user to the features page so what you're going to do is switch back to prototype we're going to select the features from this page all right the features here and then what we would do is drag it to this page and it's going to be on click so once the user clicks on this instantly it takes the user to this page all right if the user clicks on home on this page we'll drag from home to the home page all right so the user clicks home here we take the user to the home page the user clicks features we take the user to the features page and then features will now become the active state on the features page it's more like using your phone uh, when you click on chat it takes you to chat on whatsapp if you click on settings it takes you to settings and you see how all those interactions will now become active states when you land on those pages so this is going to be on click and it's going to be instant and then we want when the user clicks on by google it takes the user to the last page so we're going to do it for all the pages we'll take it from here to this page it's going to be on click instant it takes the user to the by google page and we want to do the same for this other page remember whatever interaction you do on the website on navigations you have to do it on all of them so we'll take it also to this page and it takes us directly to this page when the user clicks on this page now we have two more to go we're going to take it from home when the user clicks on the by google page and clicks on home it takes the user back to home when they click on features it takes them to features that way the interaction is now complete now to test this all we have to do is click on the play button over here you can now see if i try to hover on this you're going to see that it changes all right it changes state now to make that more clear to you i'm going to go back to the design go back to our prototype and i'm going to change the color so i'll select this 
I'll change the color and also how bold it's going to be. So let's make that extremely bold. All right, we'll make it this bold and then we'll change the color to something like red so that you see that it's working. This is not the way you should do it. All right, but I just want you to be sure that that is working. So if we go to features, you see it shows a hover state and if we click then it shows us the clicked state and takes us to a new page. If we go to by Google, you see the hover state, all right, the default state, hover state, clicked state. Go back to features, hover state, default state, click state. Go back to home, home, hover state, home. It takes us to the home page. And that is basically how you can animate this or prototype your interactions, your navigations to have something like this. It's very easy and I'm sure you'll get it.